Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl now. Welcome back to Slay the Renee Way. Today I'm giving you guys a full walkthrough of Inventora, which is an inventory management system designed for small businesses and handmade product owners. So if you've ever felt overwhelmed with keeping track of your products, your batches, or just compliance and things that you put into your business, this video is for you. I'm going to be walking you guys step by step how to track your products, how to keep traceability up in your business, and make sure that you know everything that is going on and keep everything super, super organized. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, first things first, you're going to head over to Inventor's website. As soon as you get here, you will see a dashboard that looks like this. So Inventor is a website that is inventory management from start to fulfill, which I absolutely love because this is one of those things that we may overlook when it comes down to running our small business is keeping track of and managing our inventory. So we're going to go ahead and click get started and sign up for an account. Now, Inventor does have a free plan, which I do highly recommend. You can do pretty much everything with this free starter plan. But for my entrepreneurs who know that they are going to need to keep track of everything and you want more options available to you as far as what you're able to do, I recommend starting with their starter or business plan. One is $19 a month and the other is $39. So go ahead and read through these and see which one fits you best. All of the plans are amazing. I've so far have really loved using this software and I highly recommend going ahead and signing up if you know that you're going to need this to help you with inventory management. Once you've determined which plan you're going to sign up for, you're going to click get started and then we're going to head over to sign up for an account. You enter in a couple of details and as soon as you do that, we'll head over to our dashboard. Once you have created your account, this is what your inventory dashboard will look like. You have your materials, your products, your purchases, they give you a section for sales, production, and reports. So everything is pretty much organized on this website and it's super easy to use, you guys. It was my first time actually utilizing this program. I was able to go in and do everything super simply. So I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step right now how to add your materials. When you're running a skincare business, there are a couple of basic materials that every skincare business owner will use, such as shea butter. So I'm using that for an example. You're gonna type in the name of your material and we're gonna click source from supplier. And our current stock level basically lets us know like how much shea butter do we have in stock right now. So right now I'm gonna say we have 50. Um, you wanna go over to your unit to make sure that you are selecting the right unit type. We have 50 pounds of shea butter. And then your minimum stock level lets you know like what is the lowest amount of shea butter you wanna have before inventory notifies you that it's time to go ahead and order some more. So we're gonna say 20 pounds, cause at 20 pounds, I know that I'm not going to be able to make but so much better. So now we're doing cost per pound. I really love this feature because it breaks down even further how much you spent per pound of your materials, which will make sense later when we look at batching and traceability. So it's going to ask you to calculate when the last time you ordered this material was. Like I just said, we ordered 50 pounds and how much did we pay for this material without tax and shipping? Around $150. These are just numbers I'm throwing out there. Um, but you will gather this information from your invoice or your receipt. So how much did you pay in tax? Again, I'm throwing out random numbers, $7.99. And then for shipping, let's just say $6.99. Actually, no, let's change to $8.99. As you can see, they do all the math for you, which makes this super easy and user-friendly, guys. I love this feature. So the cost per pounds we spent was $3.34 per pound of shea butter. Next, we're going to add our supplier. I frequently use Bulk Apothecary. If you guys have not checked them out, I would highly recommend shopping with them for your bulk shea butter needs. It was one of the most affordable for me and my business. Um, you can also create a category to keep things organized. We're going to put this in the butter category. I normally do not put an SKU number. If you want to, you can absolutely do that. And then here we have an option for your reorder link. So you can just type in the website's name here. I just love this because it makes it super easy. So say you had somebody else running this operation for you and they were using your inventory account. If they didn't know where to go and place a new order at, you would have the website listed right here as well as a photo. So they know exactly what to go ahead and reorder. This is really helpful when you have like a team of um, people helping you with your business. So I didn't put the photo in there because we know what the shape of it looks like. But we've entered our first material and everything is listed out here for you. It's really organized and it makes a lot of sense when you go in to add second materials, such as any other butters that you may be using for your body butter business. Um, I also really loved using cocoa butter, especially in the winter months. Um, cocoa butter is a more hard butter, so it made sure that my butters did 
you know, stay a little bit more solid. Same thing, 50 pounds. Make sure that you put in the correct stock unit type, how much you want to be your minimum stock level, and then your cost per pound. We're going to select both apothecary again because that's also where we got these butters from. You can skip everything else if you like. And now we've entered in our second material. Now, you guys know when you're making body butters, you also need what? Some sort of oils. So let's see which oil it is that we're going to be using for our body butter formula. How about castor oil? So I'm going to type in castor oil. Um, once again, the same thing as far as your stock level. Normally you buy this in ounces if you're buying it in bulk. So I'm going to say that I bought 64 ounces. Please make sure that you correct your stock unit type because things can get really messy if you accidentally enter the wrong stock unit type. So double check that. Um, minimum stock level, I'm going to say 16 ounces. And we're going to let inventory help us calculate our cost per ounce. So once again, you're entering in how much you paid when you did go ahead and buy your cast oil or whatever product that is. They do all the math for you once again. We love that feature. You click save and boom, done. Um, same similar process, you guys. I'm selecting my supplier and my categories here. I just love how easy this is to use. Like nothing about this is complicated at all. So if you're just starting, you should be able to follow my tutorial and work pretty simply with inventory. So we're going to add one more material for sake of examples. Let's do a fragrance. You always need some sort of scent or well, not always, but for purposes of this video, we're adding a fragrance. I'm going with the strawberry fragrance that I got from P&J Trading. Um, also check them out, you guys. But current stock level, we're going to say we have eight ounces and our minimum stock level before we want to run out. Let's say tell me when I have like two or three. And let's calculate our cost per ounce. Once again, we bought 15. I'm sorry. Oops. We bought eight ounces. <laughs> and then how much did we pay for this? Um, all this information, like I said, you guys, you will gather this right from your invoice or your receipt. That way you're getting exact, accurate numbers. This really, really keeps things uh, organized and helpful when you are creating your batches. You know how much it's going to cost you per batch of your body butter. Um, and you're able to trace and keep track of everything, like I said. So be very, very particular about doing this process. Now we click save and now we've got four materials loaded up into our dashboard. Next we need to go ahead and create a product. So when it's time to create your product, you're doing pretty much the same similar thing. You're going to enter your product name. Now, this is the product once it is finished, once you have actually made something. Once you have gathered your raw materials and made something, this is called your product. We are making a strawberry body butter made by ourselves. We have 10 in stock. We're going to call that pieces. Um, our minimum stock level, let's put like three. Like once we get to three, we need to know that it's time to go ahead and create some more. As far as formulation, if you want to add your formulation in here, you're absolutely able to. It helps with your batch sizes. So you're able to calculate how many materials you use for an entire batch. And they're going to do the math for you to figure out how much goes into a single item. This is key for skincare regulations, you guys. You need to know exactly what you're putting in every single batch so that it is continuous and it is consistent. You don't want to be making different types of batches every time you ship something out. You know, that could cause complications um, with your customers and things like that. So let's say our batch size is five and we're going to select all the materials that we are using to create a batch of five different strawberry body butters. I really love how they help you to calculate everything. All you really have to do is go in and select the button and select it. Once you select it, it's going to be calculated for you. So we selected our castor oil. It's going to tell us how much it costs per item. So we did 0.4 ounces and then we are going to use our cocoa butter. Let's say we use three pounds of cocoa butter or two pounds of cocoa butter. Once again, it's adding that into your cost breakdown per piece. I don't think I can stress enough how important this is, you guys. Like this really makes things so simple and easy for you when it's time to reorder products and make sure that you're not overusing materials in each different batch. We want our batches to maintain consistency. Um, this is something I really wish I had when I very first started. You know, I was figuring things out. But anyway, we're here now. So our strawberry fragrance, we're going to put... Um, I guess we can use unit measurement grams. So enter how many grams you're using. Um, once you do that, everything has been totaled out for you down below. So you'll see exactly how much money you spent on this particular batch, which I love. 
then you can go ahead and add this into the body butter category. You don't have to enter in the SKU number if you wanted to do like wholesale prices, all that information you can do, but for sake of this tutorial, we're not gonna go that far. So we're gonna save this. This is one of our first products, and now we've entered in everything that it costs to make these products. $2.44 to make one strawberry body butter, okay? Out of 10. So now we've done that, and look, everything is entered in perfectly. We've got our stock level, our minimum order level, and our unit cost. It's already nicely organized into category. So once you get to having like a lot of different products, let's say you have like 15, 20 different products, this is a game changer for keeping your things organized and being able to track everything that goes into creating said products. Once it's time to create new orders, you should never be able to run out of the materials and things that you need to make said product because inventory is going to highlight everything red for you when you're hot when you're low and when it's time to go and place a new order for products so i love this product next let's enter in our first supply order like i said you guys this is really really helpful when it comes time to make sure that you're ready to place a new supply order and know how much you need of each different product so we're going to add this in manually if you have an invoice that normally comes in like your email after you place your order you also have the option to upload that directly into the supply order and all the information will be pulled directly from it, which that's really cool too. So the very first thing to ask us is our supplier. We're going with Bought the Pot Carry because we want to track our butters. So click your butter. It's going to ask you for your case size. We did a case size of 50 pounds and the case pricing, let's say like, what did we say? 150. So we're going to change this to 150. As you can see, things update as you enter them in. Now your lot number, you definitely wanna make sure that you're using lot numbers, especially when it comes down for batch traceability. I would just put your lot number in here in commas, separate them if you need to. Um, but when it comes down to create like big batches of things, this is very, very handy as far as keeping track of things. So make sure you don't miss out on the lot number step. Um, secondly, we're gonna add our cocoa butter. Same thing, how much, um, I'm sorry, castor oil. How much castor oil did we order? We did 64 ounces and we're gonna enter the case price. It really is helpful that you can upload your invoices so that all this information comes directly from it and you don't have to type everything out. But if you don't feel like doing that, you can always do it manually. So now let's enter in our order number. I'm gonna put 1031. If you had any discounts, you will put that here. If you had tax, enter that and as well as your shipping costs. Okay, so we spent $12.67 on tax, and we're just going to enter our shipping as, let's say, 10 bucks. Now you're going to click Save. If you have any notes or anything, you can enter notes. If you want to upload any other attachments, you have that option as well. They get super detailed, but let's just click Save, and we're going to mark this as um, order that we have, um, we have actually received in this order. But if this is just an order that you just recently placed, you can do that as well. So once it means received, that means that we have already received in all the items that we have put into this supply order. They also want to know what date you placed it and what date you received it. So I'm assuming that that's going to let inventory know like how fast you're using the products that you are placing in your supplies. Um, it will help you keep track of things. Like I keep saying, it's just all about traceability. So you also have the option to do your first production run. Um, and enter in your first sale. Let's go ahead and enter in our very first retail sale. I wanna show you how this works when you actually make a sale and how inventory uses all of your um, materials and the products and your supply orders to keep track of things. So first you wanna enter in your customer's information. If you did wanna integrate your inventory with your Shopify website, um, you're able to do that with the upgraded plan and that makes things 10 times easier because everything that you placed via Shopify, all of your customer information, all of that will be easily transferable right into inventory. Um, so I like the way that you're able to merge that, but we do not for today's example. So our price per unit was $25 per strawberry body butter. Now, if this customer got a discount, you want to enter that as well. How much did they pay for tax and any fees? Okay. So now it's asking, do you want, how do you want to prepare this sale? Do you want to use the existing stock or do you want to create a production run? So for traceability, let's use our existing stock. Um, it's going to ask you to select your batch. So which batch are you using for your strawberry body butter? Once you upgrade to all the pro features, you guys, this is going to help you a ton. OK, so make sure you click down below in my description to sign up. But we're going to go ahead and click create. Now we've generated our first sale. 
and this is a paid sale so once our customer pays for their order it will show that the status has been paid for and um you'll be able to keep track of how many sales you make and how much it took to actually produce said sales so if a customer orders <clears throat> 10 of those strawberry body butters you're going to see that now you have x amount of ounces of um cocoa butter left and shea butter left and it really does well at tracking everything you guys this is super super helpful for all of us small business owners um things can become jumbled once we have so much going on but i really love how inventory keeps track of everything for you so right here like i said it's telling you how much it was taking you to create the strawberry body butter now you see it upgraded your stock level to nine because we did have an order placed if you click your batches it will show you that you have nine pieces remaining and once you get down to a certain number it will let you know that it's time to go ahead and create a new batch of strawberry body butter because you are low so that is really really handy and it's really helpful i also love that you keep track of how much you purchased when it's time to go and purchase new things and all of your sales reports are all in the same spot you guys this is super organized and super helpful so that you make sure you know exactly what's going on in and out of your business and instead of just tracking your sales now you're tracking your products, your purchases, and your materials. That is, you're doing top tier business this way. So, so I just want to give a big shout out to Inventora. Thank you so much for collaborating with me on this video. I highly recommend you guys checking out Inventora. All the information will be down below in my description box. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to answer your questions for you. But I highly recommend you guys go ahead and sign up for your plan and get started tracking all of your materials and keeping your things super, super organized especially as we head into quarter one of next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.